But prior to this trip, I was thinking about the types of problems I have uh, or had as a wildlife biologist doing field surveys, wildlife observations. And one of those things is using an ethogram, which is a clunky piece of equipment that ties up your hands. It's got buttons that you push for different kinds of behaviors or different species that you're recording. And you can't do anything because you're holding this big thing. And it's really confusing to know which buttons to hit. So this is the ethos mock. This is attempting to solve a lot of the problems that an ethogram presents. Um, one of those things is I've got my hands free. So you wear it. There are buttons located on different parts of your body. This could be used for a lot of different purposes. The one that I was mainly thinking of is recording bird calls. So if you had each of these buttons mapped to a different species, as soon as you hear it, you can touch it. So this leverages some embodied cognition. It's kind of fun. You learn where these spots are because you're physically touching them. Your environment is modifying and changing the way that you're learning. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, go on. <laughs> When considering the design, we needed to make sure that it would be lightweight, packable, and versatile. Uh, we made it out of mesh, so it was cool in uh, warm temperatures, packable, um, and it's the smock format, so you can easily put it on when you're wearing a backpack already, or put it on and then put it on someone else, so you're able to exchange it quickly. Uh, the buttons are also soft for packability. Uh, how it works is that there's two pieces of conductive fabric and there's a hole in the mesh in the middle. So when you depress the button or you just hit it, the circuit's closed and it gets recorded as a data point. So what we're recording right now is just which button was pushed and at what time it was pushed. Um, and that lets you do a lot of things if you know which button corresponds to which bird call, but we're thinking about how to extend the capability to match to join with other pieces of data that you might collect while in the field. So if we recorded GPS data with it or um, had various timestamps that we could link up with uh, light data, um, environmental data, that kind of thing, um, it would be useful to record more things than a traditional ethogram does. Okay. That's it. All right. Mm -hmm. Good.